fight against corruption on the speaker by using such motions to speak to the gallery, to speak to our voters, to speak about corruption but never acting over corruption on a speaker. Remember in the 11th parliament on a speaker. Wind up in a minute. In the state of the nation address, 200 state officers were declared jobless. But what came out of that political pronouncement, Honorable Speaker? Absolutely nothing. That is what the Honorable Jack Wamboka is calling on this House to do. To make a political declaration in the impeachment of a CS, but get absolutely no value in the fight against corruption. Allow our Committee for Agriculture to expedite its inquiry, find those who are culpable, to be charged before courts, allow DCI, EACC to complete their investigations, and call on us. If you find any public officer culpable, we shall be there to support you, to impeach anybody who will be found culpable, subsequent to credible investigations. But these are the political, uh, th these are the political things from newspaper cuttings, my friend Jack Wamboka, falls flat. And I would beg you this early to withdraw this motion to save yourself from the embarrassment, Honorable Jaco Amboka. This is where the Constitution put a very high threshold. Daniel Manduku. Daniel Manduku. Nyaribari Masaba. Give him a mic. Take the one next. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to support the motion of impeachment of the Honorable Mithika Linturi as CS for Agriculture. Mr. Speaker, I support this motion not just because I represent farmers in Nyaribari Masaba, nor is it because my own mother is a victim of the fake fertilizer scam. Neither is it because I'm a farmer. But I support this motion because I feel that it's a moral obligation that I'm faced with as a member of parliament and as a leader in this country. Mr. Speaker, when the fake fertilizer scam came up, Honorable Rintuli went to the media and denied the existence of any fake fertilizer. After that, he blamed the opposition and called us saboteurs. Later on, the deputy president came and confirmed that indeed there was existence of fake fertilizer in the market, whereupon Honorable Inturi confirmed himself. And depending on who was speaking at the time, the number of bags kept changing between 3,000 and 50,000. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Inturi has served in the Ministry of Agriculture for about two years. We have not had any major transformative ideas from Honorable Rinturi to make agriculture grow, given that it is a backbone of our country. Mr. Speaker, I want to agree with my minority leader that we should not have gotten to this point, given that the president himself, even as late as yesterday, told the nation that he is not here to make popular decisions. We expect the president, now that he has set the standard himself and he has a marking scheme, to take action immediately if this house does not, if this house does not get Mr. Lenturi out. Honorable Speaker, our agriculture sector has faced a serious downturn. And it is time that the president puts somebody who can upturn the sector, given that millions and millions of our people depend on agriculture. Mr. Speaker, looking at the evidence before us today and hearing the submissions by members, it is very obvious that right from the procurement, manufacture, distribution, warehousing, and eventual delivery of the fertilizer, Honorable Inturi's hands and feet are all over these documents. There is sufficient evidence, Honorable Speaker, 
to send Honorable Nturi home. My plea to my friends, especially members of parliament, 